Hey guys, Silence here, here. Welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Cafe Mix with me. And today is another exciting day as we get a brand new event Pokemon, well, available to join the cafe. So it's another hot day, so let's take it easy. But, um, hmm? What is that? I think I hear a groovy beat from somewhere. But I'm done. Look, it's a Grookey. <laughs> ah, it's a Grookey that was drumming. Wow, the flowers and plants around the cafe are thriving. Perhaps the plants are enjoying Grookey's rhythmic beat. But I'm Chang. <laughs> the funny rhythm is even making us happy. Grookey, thanks for the great beat. I think we can offer an even more splendid experience to our customers today. Let's thank Grookey for boosting our energy. Hope you enjoy our tasty offerings. Alright, so let's try to get Grookey to join the cafe. Do take note of the event period, so don't want to miss out on it. I kind of find the art style for Grookey a bit strange as compared to the original design. It's got like a bit of a bird right there very very weird design but okay oh seems like the grand prix is over so let's collect our rewards hey 34 still quite okay considering how often i play on this account yeah. look at that just two stars away from 33 Alright, and of course, the next round begins. So let's start off each episode as usual with an invitational, um, you know, stages. And of course, let's try to get Executor, who is brand new. So let's stick with this invite selection. Alright, let's go to Togepi. We don't really have any mission cards right now that requires anything specific. So just make use of whatever is recommended. 100,025 link. Oh boy. Okay, so let's see. The strategy is definitely still to get Togepi's skill going. Because it can change the um, icons to the most present. Or rather, the most amount of icons that are currently present on the board. Alright. Seems like Pikachu is the main go-to this time around. Destroy the cheese and the marshmallow at the same time. Oh, it's Starly! Huh. Or even Pikachu. Okay. There we go. Uh, I don't know. Maybe let's just go with Starly. Let's grab as many as we can. There we go. We got 35. Alright, so. Let's just gather as many as possible because the marshmallows are currently uh, blacked out. Uh, let's go for Togepi here. Alright, there goes all the marshmallows. So we should be fine, technically. Let's go for the score. Alright. Yeah! Easy as that. Alright, first stage down, one more to go. The next one is definitely the risky one. Don't want to end up retrying. You, you guys know by now, if we do retry, we're just going to lose a lot of acorns. And of course, if you quit the stage, that's the end of the invitational party. Okay, so um, I guess we can clump all the all up sugar cubes to the right side because Squirtle's skill does destroy things on the right side. So let's just grab as many of the icons available. There we go. Okay, we definitely want to do this as quickly as possible. So we can set more icons free. Alright, not many falling down. 
mainly because I guess there's just too many things on the board right now. Alright, let's go down. Okay, I think we are pretty okay. All the icons seem very evenly distributed. Nothing that seems to be a majority on the board. Which makes things a little bit difficult. Okay, um, seems like Meow has a lot right now. Okay, we can use this and hopefully with this last batch, oh there was a megaphone there, yeah anyways we did destroy the sugar cube on its last move, so that's not too bad, alright, 3 stars each, total of 6, that's gonna help us in our Grand Prix ranking. Ooh, 19th place. Just like that. Okay. Let's move on to the regular stages. Stage 181. Hopefully it isn't something too difficult. Oh, combine a shaker and milk to clear them. Skills, megaphones, and items can't clear them. Oh. Okay, so I guess we gotta combine these items together. Alright, let's get Charmander going. Because we want to destroy the cheese because that's basically what's blocking the progression of the stage all right we've got our skill so let's just destroy this and play off the icons in the way oh come on <laughs> you had to get in the way and make me use one more move we could have ended with 10 moves extra oh that's just horrible luck but that's okay. Oh wow, 6th place now. Guess people haven't really been playing at all since the day refreshed. Alright Togepi, you're up against the all-powerful Lucario. Hmm. Okay. Seems simple enough. Um, I guess we just had to destroy the four cubes at the bottom. The ones in the upper corners are just basically distractions, I suppose. So let's get Togepi going. Oh my goodness, I can't stretch it. Oh, there we go. It's kind of a tight squeeze. Oh no. Oh no. That's okay. I guess let's just destroy this. Alright, and let's grab a whole bunch of squirtles and destroy the sugar cubes at the bottom. Oh, come on! This is horrible. Alright, there we go. So let's grab some togepi and let's shift all of this stuff in. Okay, let's just combine as much as possible. Let's rotate everything around. Ooh, lots of scooter. Okay. So, uh, a bit of a tight squeeze there. Let's get Munchlax going. Can we get this? Ooh, very tight squeeze. Destroying the sugar cube. Hopefully that gives us a bit of a freedom of movement. There we go. Okay. A lot of squirtle right now. So let's get this cleared for score. We do need a lot of toga pee. So that's kind of a bummer. 
Alright, let's just destroy as many of these icons that are not Togepi. Hopefully that changes things around. Yes! Let's grab all the Togepi. And we're done! That looks very refreshing. I really wish I had a cup right now. Alright, we are still in 9th placing. I guess people at the top are starting to play. Sixty-five thousand score, twelve whipped creams. Uh oh, seems like the whipped creams are stuck in that tiny room. Ooh, and we've got like the funnel there as well. Don't really want to get the whipped cream transferred into that tiny room, so maybe let's destroy the whipped creams first. Okay, lots of starly here. Let's just grab a few of them. Pikachu. The Lawson now, I suppose. Okay. And Starly. Pikachu. So once we've gotten rid of most of the, I guess, Whip Queen, we can start releasing more okay hopefully the megaphones do come out to help us a bit yeah Ooh, very nicely done seems like it okay we might have a problem though Okay, let's see if we can clear this easily. Hopefully, the skill doesn't destroy the megaphone down there. Okay. Uh oh. Uh oh. We are short of one move. Ah. Okay, so the idea is there, it's just really depending on luck. Let's try this again. Hopefully we don't do badly this time round. Okay, we free quite a bit of the whipped cream there. Alright, so let's see if we can pile them up. There we go, we got the whole bunch together. Yeah! Okay, so now we can get this going. Set the whipped cream free. It's kind of sad that, you know, we get transfer into that tiny room. Alright. Let's clear space. Alright, Pikachu. Maybe let's try to push the um the skill into that room. So it can help us destroy the red cream. Okay, so we do have two here. Alright, we're done with the whipped cream though, but the problem is we don't have enough moves and a megaphone to clear. Oh, okay, so this is a problem. I mean, I'm just one tap away from clearing the stage, so I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> Alright, okay, we're done. Just gonna place it in a spacious area so that the megaphones can be produced. If not, it'll be quite a bummer <laughs> to just waste that whole move and not have any megaphones appear at all. Oh, I'm 19 now! Holy crap, people are really starting to play. Alright. Charmander, let's go! Let's go! Fifty thousand score for pumpkins. Okay, and we have to move the 
I guess the flask down to the milk. So now the problem is the caramels will multiply if you don't disturb them. So I'm just gonna let's see if we can dig them up and pop a few caramels here and there. Okay, let's see if we can squeeze this in so we can touch the pumpkins at the same time. Very nice. So right now all the caramels are settled. Just gotta dig out this flask here. Okay, push them in. Alright, I think we are pretty much good. Hopefully the icons push the items in. There we go. So we just have to dig this in and just get a whole bunch of Lucario at the same time and we are done! Wow! I didn't expect to do so well at this stage because usually I would struggle on this one. I guess experience is slowly starting to show. Oh, 17th place. Let's keep going guys! Snubble. Ooh, lots of Eevee. Uh oh. So, there are all up honeys. Um, that might be a problem. So, let's, let's slowly shift things around. Alright, gather up the icons and, you know, pop the oil around. Those honeys. So that they can slip, stay in place. Okay, now that we have this, we're gonna make use of the skill just to solidify the honey. Okay, and let's gather a lot of EV right now. Go around the whole thing and destroy as much honey as possible. And of course, you know, to do the same for the vegetable crates because we need those veggies. Fantastic. Alright, so Munchlax is the key right now. Okay, lots of EV. Oh! Uh oh. This is a problem. So we can't use the skill here because we need vegetables and the honey at the same time. Oh my goodness, that was a bit nerve wracking right there. Lucky thing, I didn't mess it up. Alright, so we cleared the stage without extra moves, but that's fine. Alright, 17th place. Alright. Sixty-three thousand score, holy crap, that's a lot. Now, which mayonnaise bubble has the tomatoes in them? Oh no, you're gonna have to guess. Okay, so let's try popping them to see. Okay, there are three tomatoes here. Um, let's just try and destroy the ones here. Two tomatoes. Okay. Set them free. Okay. Alright, so we've got the skill here. Maybe let's just set these guys free. I mean, it would have been better if I could. Um... Alright, the tomatoes are all in. So we just have to get rid of the chestnuts. Ooh, this is this is bad. Maybe if we push the chestnuts together. Uh oh. So yeah, we don't have enough skills to destroy everything. So this is one of those tough stages right now. 
destroying the Neonis bubbles bit by bit. Let's just use the skill to destroy the whole batch at one go. This way, you know, saves time. Okay, let's grab our main key Pokemon. Alright, at the same time, let's gather more so we can get the skill build up. Tomato falls in. Oh, of course it wouldn't. Oh no. We are really messing this thing up. This stage is really bothering me. Okay, so we're gonna do our best. Hopefully, we can clear this with a bit of luck. Alright, we've got the skill. Let's pop this baby open. Alright, the tomato's right there where we want it. Uh, let's grab all the squirtles okay, and head over to this corner. Hmm, yeah, look, jiggly puffs though. So I'm just gonna stick on this corner. Alright, with the skill. Let's move along here. Okay. Okay, lots of jiggly puff. So let's grab all the jiggly puff. We have yet to set some of the tomatoes free though, so that's kind of a bother. Okay, let's see if we can do this. the chestnuts at the same corner now because if so I think this will be definitely worthwhile seems like it okay let's go in I think that's it yeah okay so a bit of luck in placing the chestnuts but in the end we had to use the 908 cons just to clear the stage uh, if you guys are able to do it without the Acorn retry, you guys are awesome. I mean, I think I did clear it before with the exact amount of moves, but you know, I still had to retry quite a bit, so definitely pay attention to this stage. Um, you might want to have some items assist you. Oh, Gookies here! Alright, our very first um, chance to add stars to him. Look, he's here. It's not a Pokemon we usually see around here. Hopefully our yummy offerings turn it into a fan of our cafe. Yes, that's what we are always hoping for when a new event comes around. So let's try our best to add Gookie to our team. Barbasaur, you are needed. Ooh, okay, so... Barbasaur destroys things in a cross manner, at the same time he changes icons around the skill to, you know, an icon that has the most around on, on the board. So let's get Barbasaur going first. Okay, we are probably gonna have to get a whole bunch of icons just to clear the cheese. Alright, Barbasaur. This one will pop. 
Okay, let's destroy the cheese first before we move on to the marshmallows. Okay, the marshmallows are littered up though, so this is the best time to use this. Alright, we've got another skill. Alright, let's get the cheese. Let's get Charmander. Bubble saw again, a lot of it. Uh, combine this to get rid of the marshmallows first. Okay, I think we're doing quite okay. We just have to be careful. Alright, um, I don't know. Let's push all of these down together so we can clear them all. Oh, oh, yeah, there we go. I, I almost thought I missed out on one kernel. Alright, Bookie's very first star. Does he need 5? Yes! So apparently it's a trend. All event Pokemon just needs 5 stars to join the cafe. So that's actually pretty fast. Friendship bonus! Alright, ooh, 13. Okay, so if we clear the stage with the friendship bonus, we're gonna move up with 3 stars. It would have been nice if it was a 2 star stage. But you know, don't, things don't always go our way. So, yeah, okay. Let's see. Um, I guess let's just play around at the top because Stockland skill does destroy things downwards. Um, so, let's just make use advantage of that factor. Okay. So, Starly once again. Go. Ooh, the megaphone is very tempting though. Hmm. Okay, slow puff. Okay. Right, gotta get this down. Alright, oh, Stoutland skill does call out one megaphone. So that's not too bad of a skill actually. It's a lot of blossom. Okay. Let's see. Um maybe let's clear the big guys first. Considering that the smaller ones are a lot easier to clear. Okay, let's jam them up. Alright, so in this case, um, I'm gonna have to pop out first. Combine. Yeah! Okay, yes, yes. Exactly how I needed it to be. Okay, let's get slurp half going and then we'll push all of them to join together. Alright, um, Starly I suppose. With that, yeah, you just have to go for score. Alright, grabbing everything just in case. And we're done. Ooh, three stars. Very tasty. If only that was for Gooky. <laughs> Oh, ninth place. Okay, we're moving up the ladder slowly but surely. Ooh. Okay, so we definitely need Minchino's skill to destroy the caramels. Mm. Oh no, it seems like this whole thing is connected. So once I start moving stuff, everything is just gonna fall. Okay, so maybe let's just grab from here. There we 
go. Things are just gonna fall out from that side right now. So let's just destroy the caramel as they come out. Skill. Alright, with this, let's pop all the caramels here. We do have one that's exposed right now, so that's a problem. Okay. Hey, we've got them all combined, so let's just gather everything for the score. And we're done! Not too bad, as long as you don't let the icons fall into the next room, you should be fine. Alright, moving along. Eight place. Okay, since we are moving so smoothly, I might extend the duration of this episode. So let's see how things goes. Executor does need a lot of stars since he is a well the normal kind of Pokemon you can get by playing stages and of course through the game's updates so therefore he needs more stars than the event Pokemon. Hmm, this one is a bit tricky though. So I remember having been stuck on this stage for a very long time. So let's just pop all the, the items that are within the hmm, Ice cubes. Okay. Let's see. Can we shift the pumpkins together? So that, you know. Okay. Poker pea seems like the best choice right now. All the whipped cream out. There we go, everything is out. So let's just destroy everything. Oh, there's another pumpkin. Oh my goodness, how many of them are there? Okay. So the Whipped creams are actually the least of our worries, so that's a problem. Okay, we've got another pumpkin destroyed, but there is another one there, so that's a problem. Okay, maybe we should start moving things towards the right side of the screen. Okay, so majority of the sugar cubes are gone so with that hopefully oh it didn't activate so let's see Queens. have enough for the score oh we are short on the score okay since I know how annoying this stage can be this is one of the stages that you definitely need to have 900 acorns on hand so do take note of this stage as well so we just, just do this because it's just a uh, bare minimum clear for us so yeah that's it all right so really really pay attention to this stage don't want you to end up you know, wasting too much time retrying and retrying. After all, we do have the Grand Prix available right now, so the main point of the game is to progress as fast as you can. Alright, let's open up the gift because we just cleared 10 stages. 
Alright, 7th placing. Let's move along. Since we're doing pretty fine. Might be a slightly longer episode, but it's okay guys. You can take your time to watch through all the stages if you are struggling with them. So let's gather all the Charmander and you know, just lay them at the top because we can use the skill for Charmander to destroy the mail. Oh no, I just noticed that the items are stuck in the corner. Okay, so I guess we have to dig it out. Right, let's combine this first. Them a place. Ooh, there's another set. Okay, so let's dig this out and push them over. Uh, any else? Okay, push them over. Maybe get them in if possible. There we go. Alright, Squirtle. Gather them for the score. Okay. Destroying icons for the score. Chaining with the megaphone. That's it! Wow! <laughs> I ended a lot quicker than I initially did for the first time I played this level. <laughs> and I didn't even have to retry. Really so yeah, pay attention to the items in the corners that to dig to dig to dig them out, but after you've used Charmander's skill to destroy the whole bunch of Neonis as possible, so you know where the other items are for the milkshake, I guess. So yeah, then after you've got them revealed, toss them over to the other side and then just connect them together and you should be fine. We didn't move up in rank, so that means the opponents are definitely working very hard as well. 54,000 score, lots of vegetables and popcorns. So, hmm, it seems like, yeah, we have to go with the center lane. Let's just hope we couldn't get as many veggies as possible. Munch legs again. Oh, oh no, I didn't touch the vegetables. That's a bummer. Okay. Can I combine? Alright, let's get the veggies. And hopefully the cheese. There we go, we did clear the cheese on one side. Alright, at the same time, let's touch the boxes. And the cheese. The popcorns are just a bonus. Chili popcorns are not a chili. Alright, alright, we're doing good. Okay. Getting the crate along with the popcorn. Alright, we are just down with the popcorn and we are done. So as long as you do what is necessary, you should be fine, technically. Oh, Meow joins the clan. I mean, cafe. <laughs> We're not a clan. Technically we are, kind of. Alright. Oh, Meow gets a scarf and apron. No hat though. Has that gold coin on his head is just too huge to cover. <laughs> or maybe it's just too iconic that they, they decided not to even cover it. Alright, 193. We need Slurpah for this one. And Gookie comes back for more. Fifty-four thousand score, lots of chestnuts. Mm. Slurpah skill does destroy things upwards, so... Hmm. Okay, we definitely need to clear the honey. So let's do that first. Especially the center ones because that's where the icons drop from. 
right. So once we've gathered enough resources, let's destroy the chestnuts. Okay. Um, it would be best not to move things too much because it's easier to destroy the chestnuts this way. Okay. So yeah. Oh, there we go. We, once you move things out of line, it's gonna be very troublesome. Okay, let's just destroy three of them first. Where are the... Oh, okay. So, let's try to get the items linked together. There we go. We just probably have to push this in and destroy the chestnut and we're done! So yeah, pretty simple stage. Three more stars to go. Alright, seems like we are pacing ourselves quite well. Wow, 19 stars, 29 stars. These guys are really pushing it hard. Oops, I wanted to go with Squirtle, accidentally touched the tap. Ooh. Okay. So... How do we do this? Okay, so we definitely need to have Squirtle's skill transferred over to the left hand side of the screen. So let's maybe build a few of the icons first. Of course, yeah, there we go. Then let's build another one. I'm gonna put the icon as low as possible so it gets transferred over. Okay. So once it's transferred over, let's combine this and just destroy all the ice cubes as much as possible. Okay, then from here, we can do this as well. Alright, clear as many as possible. Now we have a lot of space for more icons. Okay, let's get rid of the oil. Alright, let's bring this over. We are not ready to use it yet because they are all shaded. Hmm, okay. So since they are littered up, let's just get in there. Oh no, we are going to have to use up all our moves. So that's kind of sad. But that's okay, as long as we clear the stage, it's fine. There we go. So you guys have the idea how you can actually clear this stage a lot faster as long as you know Lady Luck's on your side and you know the funnels don't mess around with the strategy too much like it did with me. So yeah. Oh, we're in sixth place now. Okay. Oh no, we don't have any of the recommended Pokemon. So luckily I do know that Blossom skill destroys things upwards. But there's a certain thing about Blossom that I don't really like. <laughs> we, well, you guys will know once you've gotten Blossom for yourself. Um, I'm just gonna leave it at, as that because, <laughs> you know, um, that's the fun of this game to figure things out yourself once you've experienced them. Okay, so let's find a skill that actually does destroy upwards. Well, this is, well, technically upwards, but diagonally. Towards the left, Eevee just destroys things around it. Oh, Slurpuff! Slurpuff has the same skill, but with a longer reach, technically. Okay, there's a plane flying over again today. Okay, so we definitely need to get the Grip Queens out of there. So let's do that same time, let's pop a few bubbles. 
Okay, Charmander, Charmander's a lot. Alright, let's go to now. Gino? Okay, all the whipped creams are out though, so let's just play carefully. Okay, things are looking good. We don't actually have to use the skill. Okay, we are done actually. Wow, a lot faster than expected. So, as long as you spread things out well, choose the right icon to use, and you should be fine. Oh, friendship bonus for Minchino. This is our chance to move up the ladder in the Grand Prix. Alright, 196. Ooh, 30,000. 10 tomatoes. Oh no, the tomatoes are all inside. Okay, that's gonna be a problem. So, I guess let's just pop the mayonnaise Watch legs A lot of you Get you now Alright, let's get our main girl going as well Hmm, can I use this now? Set all the icons free at least. Okay. Um, this looks pretty good. So we just have to clear away some of the cheese. Okay, let's dig them up. All right. The strategy is definitely in play. Problem is getting them in. Oh no! Can we get them in? No, we can't. Oh no! Okay. So we have to retry this stage. Oh, but we want the stars, don't we? Oh, this is so gonna be very expensive. Okay, we're gonna risk it. But awesome. Can we bring the tomatoes in? Munch legs, come on. Come on boys, do your thing. Okay. Okay. Oh no, oh no. Oh no! Oh no, is this really not worth it? I mean, I do have the acorns. But do I really want to risk it just for the stars? Oh! Okay, so this is the second time you guys are gonna see me do this. <laughs> oh no, this is horrible. Normally, I would not suggest it, but... Okay. There we go! Ooh, very expensive finish just for the stars. Times three bonus is a bit tempting. All right, so we still stay in seventh place. That's fine. Okay, so it's not like we needed to clear that stage, you know, in that manner. But you know, we are playing a Grand Prix, and we do have the acorns in hand. To do such a thing so technically it's okay all right so the strategy for this 
um, just basically leave I guess the top three sugar cubes on the right hand side that's making that pillar so you can destroy the ones at the bottom so that the you know the canisters or the, the shaking flask can actually roll into the, the, the milk section so let's just gather as many skills as possible to destroy the sugar cubes at the top and of course not forgetting the ones at the bottom then push as much as we can to destroy the chestnuts all right let them flow okay lots of executors so let's just get the executors going all right with this we should be good Let's gather the whole bunch of them, let's mix things up, and of course destroy the sugar cubes, that's what we need to do. Oh come on, there we go, that's it, easy as pie, well a cup of milkshake at least. Almost there at the end. Oh, we dropped to eight. I guess other people got lucky with the friendship bonus as well. Starly, let's go. Right, the star for Guki. Oh no, why did the Mehon just move out of this place? Okay, so what's the strategy here? Um, lots of vegetables needed. Megaphones definitely coming from Starly's skill. And a lot of score. Hmm. Okay, let's grab Starly first. Maybe destroy as many Mayonis bubbles while we are doing this. Okay, let's get the Jigglypuff. Okay, Pikachu. the skill so let's do this here hopefully the boxes don't make us waste oh my goodness just when i was saying that we don't waste the megaphones produced they literally spawn all within the megaphone or right, the, the vegetable crates area oh that's just horrible luck horrible <laughs> guys i hope that doesn't happen to you Pikachu covering the honey. Okay, we could do this. Oh, it's just an icon. Alright, we've got all the vegetables done, we've got all the megaphones done as well. We just gotta destroy the honey and score. So we're actually pretty good. Okay, we've got the score, so let's destroy this and we're done. Wow. So yeah, even though with that very horrible luck, <laughs> um, we still did pretty well. That means we can actually end the stage even earlier. So guys, Take note, if you really want to rack up in the acorns. Uh oh, once again we have no skill or rather suggested Pokemon for here. So let's once again rely on Slurpuff. Because Slurpuff is similar to Blossom. Unless you guys paid for the uh, Barista Pikachu I guess. 80,000 score? Ooh, this does not look good at all. Okay, so 
I don't know, maybe we should let the bubbles float down. Or will they not float down at all? I'm not too sure. Okay, let's see. Yeah, they're not floating down, so let's go up. Okay. Um let's just build up skills. Alright. Lots of snubble. Path for the skill. Bubble saw as well. Alright, let's destroy the sugar cube and the marshmallow along. Okay, lots of snubble again. Bubble saw. I'm just gonna wait to use Slurp Half Skill. Um, yeah, just like this. So we can get rid of the stuff on majority. Uh oh. Seems like. Yeah, it's coated. So we're gonna have to use up all our. Oh man, I forgot that the marshmallow. Oh, that's just horrible. Okay. So once again, luck is not on our side. Alright, we have got to retry this level. It's not a difficult level. As long as you do things in order, it should be fine. Alright. Okay, it's looking good. Let's get a slow path here. One marshmallow, but it's fine. Um, gotta uncoat all of them. Gotta remember to uncoat all of them. Okay, uh, let's uncoat the marshmallows here first, and of course, set free this sugar cube. Actually good. Or are we in trouble because the sugar cube is kind of far apart? Oh no. <laughs> we are in trouble. Oh and we're out of hearts. So I'll be back soon. And we are back with more hearts, so let's try to do this properly this time now. Okay, that seems pretty decent. Alright, let's just clear away the marshmallows for this section. One is still coated in oil. Not such a good thing. Yeah, there we go. Alright. Maybe let's get rid of the stuff here first. Okay. I think we're doing a lot better this time around. that last marshmallow is it up there oh there it is okay let's get it first 
because the sugar cube is easier to handle. There we go. So much easier now. I don't know why we struggled so hard the last round. Although we had to use all the well the moves that we have available, but that's okay. Oh, Squirtle gets the friendship bonus. Everyone's so happy, even Lucario is smiling away, looking at me struggle. Alright, let's open up the gift. We've reached another 10th stage. So, definitely looking forward to the presents that we'll never... Ooh! It's a 3 star level! Plus, if we get the multiplier, it's 9 stars? Holy crap, so much pressure is just within this level itself. Okay, okay, let's try. Do not, um, I guess, mess up. Oh. So we've got canisters and we've got caramel. Ooh, this is not looking good. Okay. So let's try and destroy things bit by bit. If we can get, you know, stuff flowing. Okay. Maybe we can keep the flask around. There we go. Alright. Oh, they're all done. So all we have left is the caramel? Seriously? Okay. Oh. Oh dang, I could have ended way faster if I didn't mess up on that last move. Oh, it's a very easy level 3 stage. Look at that! 9 stars! I can't believe this. Oh my goodness. Whoa! Alright, with that, we're getting more upgrades for the cafe. Olive tree? Oh, a new menu. Now we can harvest some fresh olives to add a lot of flavor to our recipes. Yeah, I guess that's give, giving us an option for pizza in the future, I suppose. Depends on what kind of cafe they want this to be. Okay, we are in 6th place, right beside the 5th. Uh, I guess... Uh, Pin? That's the guy's name. <laughs> got it first so that's why he's placed above me all right so we're doing pretty good and yeah sadly to say i have to end this episode here we couldn't get uh groki to join us this time rounds i guess he's yeah he's still sitting there with pikachu enjoying his food so yeah i guess the next episode is probably the time where we get groki to join us so yeah guys, if you guys are excited for a brand new Pokemon to join your team of, well, Pokemon that's running the cafe right now, I wonder what kind of skills Goki has though. Pretty interesting to find out sooner or later. So yeah, I'll see you guys in the next episode um, soon. Until then, bye!